Hi everyone, my name is Georgia and I'm here to show you how to create an awesome event flyer super easily in Pixlr. Now I'm sure a lot of you use Pixlr for its photography skills, but it might come as a surprise that it's actually very versatile for creating templates. And for this reason, in this tutorial, I want to show you how to use Pixlr to create a really easy design. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Okay, so since it's a flyer, I am setting the basic flyer size at 2550 by 3300 pixels. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And the first thing is the background. So I'm a huge fan of gradients. So once I've got this background here and aligned, I'm going to select like a simple pink gradient so that it's kind of fading in the background. So I'm gonna click the shape tool and the rectangle, create my rectangle, and then I'm gonna choose fill and choose the gradient and adjust the opacity so that I've got that kind of a faded pink effect in the background, which is gonna look really beautiful against this kind of background that has neon kind of colors within it. And then I'm also gonna duplicate it by selecting alt on windows or if you're using a mac it's option on the keyboard and then i can twizzle it round and put it at the top as well so i've got that kind of symmetry there between the top and the bottom and then i'll just make sure those layers are locked now i can add my main character by kicking the plus and the image um, i will choose this lady here and I will use the automatic function of Pixlr to get the little cutout. So click on the cutout, then click auto, and it will automatically remove the background for me. Just let it do its thing. And there you go. Easy peasy. So I want to add some wave shapes to my design. So I am going to select the custom shapes at the top again so that I can kind of create this little wavy effect at the bottom of the flyer. So here I go, I've already got it selected, but you just click the drop-down menu and choose your shape there. And you can find kind of whatever shape you want almost in the library. So once I've got it there, I can kind of twist it to where I want. I can fill it with a gradient, which I'm gonna scroll down and have this kind of dark blue pink gradient because it matches really well with all the colors within the graphic move it down to where I want it and then I'm going to go ahead and set the transparency to about 20% then I can click alt and duplicate it again so that I can have kind of another faded one in the background as well and I'm going to set this transparency to 10% and then just make sure that they're both locked so that I don't accidentally select them. So once they're all adjusted, just make sure you lock each layer um, so that is just still there and I'm not gonna kind of click them while I'm trying to adjust other things. And my centerpiece, I'm going to create a big kind of circle or ellipse with kind of a rainbow gradient um, and I want it to kind of highlight my cutout character. So I'm going to choose this, change that dark blue to a red because I prefer it in the background of this. Um, and then I'm just kind of adjust it where I want and change the blend mode to hard light. I can also duplicate this and make it smaller so that I've got that kind of other element in the background, which is going to be brilliant. So once I've adjusted that, and locked them all into place and got them where I want them, I am gonna add some text so that people actually know what's going on at this event. So here we go, just move the shape to behind the lady so that it's kind of creating that halo effect around her face. Okay, so once that's locked, let's write something about this event. So I'm gonna add my text, I'm going to have kind of a big 21 faded in the background to signify the year. I'm going to fill that with white as most of my text within this flyer are going to be. And kind of it nice and faded in the top left corner of the flyer. 
and I'll check the transparency. Obviously, that's how I'm going to get it faded is making sure that it's kind of got a low transparency so that it's not that kind of really solid, solid color. Then I also want to make sure that I've got 20, 21, so the year in the right hand top corner. So I'm going to add another piece of text, click the 21, duplicate that, turn it to 20, and then I'm also going to make this a slightly different font. So I've chosen Hey Patrick's, which is like an outline font, which just gives it that kind of different dimension, which I love. So I'm just going to use the arrows to adjust it where I want to, it to be. There we go. Now that looks just about right. So now I want another piece of text and I want this to say all night long. I'm going to align this to the left, change the font back to that original font that I had. And then I'm going to um, have it so that it's over the top of that faded 21. Once I've got that sorted, I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to write music events. And I'm going to twist it round and put it in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, I'm just kind of creating this kind of frame around the character within my design um, to kind of give it a bit of structure. So I want to make sure I've got the full date here. So I'm going to change this font and make it smaller and add that underneath the all night long. Okay, now once that's all adjusted, I can duplicate it and I can add DJ sound slash DJ music slash live event um, and type that in there and then put that on the left side as well. And I'm just continuing to build this kind of frame and structure around the edges of the flyer. So there you go, it needs to be a little bit smaller to kind of fit in between the text that I've already got there. And there you go. And then I'm also going to duplicate this and pop the website in the bottom right hand corner as well. So it's www.djlivemusic.com. Once I've got that nicely adjusted, I'm going to just add some lines to put kind of in between the text to add a bit more structure to this frame that we're creating. So I'm choosing shapes, then choosing the line, then choosing the size of what I want the line to be. Then I'm going to choose the color or the fill of the line. And then I can simply just draw the lines wherever I want on the flyer. So here you go, I'm going to put three lines to create the rest of that kind of frame. And for the final bit, and a little bit of magic never hurt anyone, so I'm gonna add some random shapes. I'm gonna start off with some X's. So they're the plus signs, and then I'm gonna twizzle them around so they create an X, once I've got them in the color that they, I want them to be. I'm gonna click Alt again to duplicate and kind of dot them around. So I'm just going to have three X's dotted around. And then I'm also going to choose some little stars and duplicate those as well. And I'm going to set the blending mode on these to overlay, which just helps pick out kind of the color, the background of the color. So it makes it look a little bit transparent and also picks out um, the background color. And I'm just going to dot these about as well just to kind of add that little bit of magic, that little bit of sparkle to the whole graphic. And there you go, there's your event fire. Stay tuned for more tutorials soon.